okay, so I'm not, because I, I felt like I ignore, if I ignored my feelings all this time to end up having it be this big, I don't want to keep ignoring that. But you're saying not, don't ignore it, but think of something better. Here's the thing. There's a little bit of a false premise going on here because you haven't ignored what goes in in society that talks about decline with age. You haven't ignored noticing other people that have had similar experiences. You haven't ignored the television commercials that say one out of every five has it and you're probably the one. <laughs> you can say that you've ignored it, but you could have not been aware of it, you say, but that's not even really accurate because it's only the active marbles that equal your point of attraction. And so if you say there were no active marbles, we say, yeah, there were some active marbles that you were aware of. Beautiful, right. But sometimes the active marble says, ah, oh, need to do something about this. And then you override it by saying, well, I don't want to go down that path. And I don't want to go down that path. And I don't want to go down that path. So I'm not going to do anything about this. But that didn't solve, that didn't change anything energetically. You see what we're getting at? Yes, yes. And so sometimes it's good for things to get big enough that you make a stronger intention about them. And if we can convince you, oh, this is so good. We're going to say it in two different ways. We've been saying to all of you for a while that when you want something enough, it almost doesn't matter what you believe about it. If your desire is strong enough. And so in this situation, what we want to say is that your opinion about what's going on is like a belief. A belief is just a thought you continue to think. But an intention can be entirely different and can become more present, more often, more dominant, and therefore more influential to the outcome. We want to find a way of saying nothing is just happening to you. And everything that is happening to you or to anybody else is because you are inviting it through thought. And you've just got to accept that. When you say, well, I invited it through thought, but I didn't know I was inviting it through thought. That's why it got big enough that you now know that you're inviting it through thought. So never mind trying to justify, well, I didn't invite it and I didn't invite it and I didn't invite it. And the snarky Abraham that knows how law of attraction works wants to say, then how do you think it got there? In other words, nothing comes uninvited and that's hard to hear. But as somebody said earlier, we will never say you didn't create it, but we are willing to say you didn't do it on purpose. Most people do not give that much awareness or consideration to their own negative emotion. Most people ignore their guidance system because it's normal to feel a little unhappy or to be a, a little worried. Everybody sort of is. And so you just don't think very much about it. Even though every time you feel negative emotion, you are blocking a desire from coming about a desire that your inner being is full steam ahead on full steam ahead on. Think about what that means when you put it over there and your inner being gets focused upon it and the cooperative components get gathered, there's energy flowing toward your desire. And if you're not going with it, there's a tug of war going on within you, which equals every disease known to man. That's what it is all about. It is about denying the natural flow of the energy. Now you want to say, well, inner being, you're not being that helpful. Maybe you could let up a little bit. Because if you weren't going toward what I said I wanted, then me not going there wouldn't be causing me a problem. <laughs> well, that is a human way of thinking about things, isn't it? But your inner being knows who you are and what you want and what the possibilities are. Your inner being knows that your body is trillions of cells of intelligence that are offering a vibration that are, if you allow it in sync with that broader perspective. And so your inner being is transmitting to all of the cells of your body, every moment of every day, transmitting and eliciting from them the cooperation that is required in order for you to live the way you want to live. And if it weren't for those stubborn opinions that you've picked up along your way, that you keep being so sure that they are right, that you're willing to sacrifice your alignment for them. This is a powerful statement that we're making here. I'm so sure that I'm right, that I'm going to ignore finding something that feels better because why? 
Because why, friends? Because I've been taught as a human that it's right to sacrifice and it's normal to feel bad and the struggle is important. So you've picked up things that are not in alignment with the way the laws of the universe work and you're proving to yourself how the laws of the universe do work. So why not lighten up on yourself and give yourself a chance to let your inner being have a clear conversation with the cells of your body? So what is it that you're asking for that you haven't let go of, that you want to let go of? Is there something standing in the way of something? Is there anybody in this room that wants something that they don't have? <laughs> is there anybody that has anything that you really have been wanting for a while and you don't have it? Anybody? We didn't think so. But. Anybody? You want something that you don't have? We're not feeling you. Is there something that you want, you really want? You've wanted it for a while and it's not coming. Anybody? Really? Anybody? Come up. I've wanted it. I've written it down. I've done every stupid process. Hello. What is it? I would love to be remarried. So people relate and we hear the words. So you've asked, you've asked, and that really was enough. How long have you been asking for this? Ooh. A little while, a little number while. of years. So that's all right too. So you've been asking, you've wanted those thoughts to turn to things. Yes. You all are really going to like this. So you've had that desire that you would like to turn to things. But you clearly have some other thoughts that are keeping those thoughts from turning to things. Yes. What is it that you think maybe you might be thinking that's keeping those thoughts from turning to things? And we know this is a weird way of going about this. But if I've asked and it's been given, but I don't have it that I must be thinking something that's keeping it from coming, that I got to stop doing that thing that I'm doing. So what thoughts do you have about this subject that might be in the way of being remarried? Do you remember what it was like to be married? Yes. <laughs> yes. And I still want to be remarried. Is there anything about that? that you bring up on a pretty regular basis to justify why you're not remarried? Trust. Uh-huh. Um. So that's a good place to start. What do I want to be different this time? I want to be free to be within a loving, committed relationship. All right, I want to be free to be. So when someone says, I want to be free, and you know they haven't been letting it in. So you know, she hasn't been saying emitting oozing free she's been emitting bondage bondage well you know lack of freedom the opposite of freedom you want to be free the word marriage and free must not go together what i mean is not s being concerned for wondering about trusting if the other party is being uh the hus my husband would be um not honorable Oh, I don't we know want what you to... mean. Oh, okay. Yes. But can you see how those thoughts about that are not letting these thoughts about this come to fruition? Mm. I want it, but I don't want that part of it. And I want it, but I don't want that part of it. And I want it. And now stay with us because you all think, we know you do, that you should be able to get whatever you want. And we think so too. But we also know you can't think in opposition to what you want and still get what you want. So you've got to find some way of thinking about this marriage in a way that doesn't trip you up, in a way that doesn't make you not feel free, in a way that doesn't make you feel taken advantage of or misunderstood. So just ramble a little bit, see if you can find some of it. Um. This is really a good exercise. So I've followed your material, your work. And yeah, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, let's just get right okay. here. Let's just get right here. So what is it about being married that sounds so good to you? Just sharing life with someone who um, you have things in common with, 
yeah. and that you enjoy. Well, that part's all easy. All the so wonderful those things. aren't the thoughts you're thinking that are in the way. No. What thoughts do you think you might be thinking that are in the way? That I might not make the proper judgment. I might not choose well. Choose well, correct. Let's chew on that a little bit. You've been launching these rockets of desire. Do you believe in the existence of your inner being? Yes. Do you think your inner being's on your side? Yes. Do you think your inner being knows what you want? Yes. Do you think your inner being knows exactly what you want? You think your inner being would offer you an encouraging nudge if it wasn't what you wanted? Do you think you can trust that when you feel enthusiastic about it, that yes. it's a good move? So are you really afraid that you'll choose wrong? How could that possibly be? If you've got a guidance system that will give you a feeling of positive emotion when you're on the hunt for somebody and you think you've got a bead on somebody, do you think your inner being would be encouraging you for the wrong one? So that's bogus altogether, isn't it? Ooh, yes. So next time you think that thought... What are you going to replace that thought with? That's bogus. That couldn't possibly thought. be. If I'm feeling this kind of enthusiasm, this must be something that my inner being knows is pushing all my buttons because my inner being knows what I want. And I know what I want and I know my inner being knows what I want. So that was easy. So what else? What do you think? What thoughts do you think that you might be thinking that might be in the way of you turning those thoughts to things? maybe not trusting my inner being just or trusting self hmm so it's not just your new husband you don't trust <laughs> you pretty much don't trust anybody <laughs> well oh that's all right because you can't calibrate to someone you can't ask someone you can't say to anyone this will never ever work for you you can't say to anyone I really want this, 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 and I think you might be it. But I need you to not ever do this, this, this. And why do you think you can't do that? Because when you say, I don't want you to do this, 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 you put it in your own bag of marbles. Oh. So now you've got marbles that are competing with each other. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next